Kaboom. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIB Show. This is Amit. And Dominic. And I noticed you got a, I, I saw you do some actual, like, some, some show prep. I saw you put some notes. Uh, and, 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 and I didn't want to steal your notes as you like to do with me, so I'm going to let you take it live. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Talk to me. What, what you got? Um, I'm not sure. I, just want, sure the first I don't got? even know if I put this in the notes. Kanye, okay. Hitler, go. Hold up. I, I, I thought it's pretty obvious. I give no <laughs> craps about this man, right? Uh, and I find it even more annoying that people share what he says on whatever platform because – the reality is I would have zero knowledge of what he said on Alex Jones's show. Like legit zero had people not posted it on Twitter because obviously I didn't hear it. Still haven't heard it. Don't want to hear it. And I would say that 99% of people who think the way I do also had zero knowledge that it was there. But now it's getting circulated, which I think is yeah, just – there's no I had zero about. knowledge. But that's yeah, I mean that's, that's what most things though. You have zero well, knowledge until it's there. Point. Until it's there. They go, oh, there's so much hate. And then we share the hate. Like, just don't share it, man. <laughs> like, he's going to get the same audience who already has those feelings. You're going to maintain those feelings. So what the F do I care? No, I but you know what? No, no, no. Here's the benefit. I think okay. this one has finally swayed some people. <laughs> no. Hold up. Said who? Based said, on what? Comments I read on social media. Yes. Bruh. When Where? this man puts out his next album, whenever that is, let me know if the sales drop. If the sales drop at that point significantly, then I will say you may be right. Until that point, yeah. But if you look, if you look, if you, if social media is a, 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 a interesting, interesting barometer of Valid. society. But like I'm saying, when you look I'll, at comments, when this first style of Kanye and the amount of people caping for him, defending him, versus the comments I'm reading at and within the black community after yesterday, which for those of you that don't know, oh um, yeah, tell people what it is. He was on the Alex Jones show and yeah, was just defending it. Hitler and defending the Nazis. And but saying, you know, so, Dominic? Nazis did good things too, you know. How and so, Hitler, Dominic? Hitler defend made this microphone that I'm using is what Kanye said. What, you, what is he talking about? And made highways. And I like Hitler. And and when I hold Why Jesus, was he also wearing like a full on. Now I'm doubling down on this and having this conversation about this idiot. Why was he wearing a full on? Oh, he like, does that a lot. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I feel I can't remember what show he was on when we did it, and you could hear him breathing through the mask like Darth Vader. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that alone makes me dislike this man even more. Forget his statements. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't like him anyway. And I mean, I've been I've been off the, the the Kanye bandwagon. I think I would say after his first album because he became in well, not became, he apparently was just an uber douche. Um, but yeah, like I I, I don't know I I don't know why I. I I don't know why we give this man any. It, it's like the same thing. It's like it's like him and Herschel Walker. I don't really care what either of these people say. The difference being Herschel Walker, it bothers me because he's an impact on people's lives or can have an impact on people's lives. And Kanye, you can choose whether or not you want to be impacted by his foolishness. I would say. Agree. Right. And Herschel Walker, Dominic. But Miller I think just, this is know, finally. I'm Herschel telling Walker you from what I'm seeing in the past, and Dominic has pitcher of him and Herschel hanging out. So he's got a very, very strong relationship with the Walker family. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I cut you off. Uh, what I was saying is, no, I, I, I do think this is the, this is the one that moves the needle. So All to right. say, like I said, in, in, in viewpoints of this man and it, it, the tolerance level, it's like, all right, you're kind of, you know, it's, we've stepped on the time of defending Nazis and defending Hitler. I mean, it's, it's See, but pretty I pretty much think... universally agreed, no bueno, right? And the manner in which he did it, it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult him. He killed six million Jews. He killed what was it, one to two million other people. Um, but he did some good things. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's wild. There's good people on both sides, Dominic. Yes. Speaking of Jerry uh -huh. Jones. Mm -hmm. Owner of the Dallas Cowboys. Owner of the Jerry uh, of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Jerry's world as well. This man keeps hitting the mute button so he can talk to people in the background. And now he's talking to, I don't know, somebody who's actually doing work at his house because he doesn't. Go ahead. Owner of the Dallas Cowboys, which is uh, considered the most valuable sports franchise, I believe, in the world. Eight billion. 
a picture resurfaced because everybody has been around, mm -hmm. but no one's really talked about it. Of him in Little Rock, Arkansas, September 9th, 1957, when a mob of white kids, boys. So he was like 15 in the picture, wasn't he? 14. Okay. Blocked six black students from entering the school. Um, so he was one of the people who blocked. Well, he claims he wasn't one of. He claims he was there looking. But Mind what did the you, picture he was show? Four I... feet away from the black kids, okay. right? But he claims he was there. Just what was going on? Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's being looky loo. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is three years after, actually, Supreme Court had shut down seg um, segregated schools. And nearby in Little Rock, there was an incident with, I believe, black students who were attacked trying to enter school. And these were six kids trying to become students at the school. And this white mob wasn't having it and stood there and blocked them, forced them to, to leave, threatened them with violence. And Jerry Jones is right there. And it... It becomes interesting. It's to me, it's not shocking at all, right? Okay. Um, and again, we don't know if he was actively participating in it. A mm -hmm. um, little too close to comfort for me, though, because too close for comfort. Too close for what did I say? Too comfort. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, I'm maybe, taking off track. Maybe, no, on. maybe <laughs> he found maybe he found comfort in harassing no. me, little Negro boys. Too too close. So to he'd be comfort. too close. No. To comfort. Yeah, you're an idiot. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get away with that one. Continue. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just interesting. You look at Jerry Jones, a man in Texas. It, hold on, but is it interesting? He's, he's donated. Well, well, when people defend it, well, oh, he's 14. Oh, you don't know. Well, you look at his history and it kind of went to smooth his fight. He, he's donated, I, I think, millions to Abbott's campaign. Never had a black coach. Doesn't doesn't mean you're racist, but it just you just add to it. Absolutely doesn't mean um, you know, when the whole Colin Kaepernick thing said or happened, he said he, um, what was it? I think he would suspend or about to bench any cowboy that dared to disrespect the flag, knowing what the whole movement was about. Um, but did he also take a knee with the team? No, he did not. No, we did I not. That was a famous, no, 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 no. Jerry Jones. No, yeah, no. That, uh, no, he made them come out and stand holding hands. Oh, my bad. That's what it was. Right. Holding hands in unity. So, I don't know. And Stephen A. Smith came out defending him. Another clown, Stephen A. Smith. Um, I thought Stephen A. Smith hates the Cowboys. So he hates him he as does. a team, but likes Jones? He does, he does hate him, right? Um, he does. He yeah. always rants about it. He he said, yeah, but he says him. he likes Jerry Jones, and he, he went in a whole defense of Jerry Jones like you've never seen him defend anybody before. Um. But and I, I guess the big what's what's the interesting part here though? I think the interesting part is because I still don't find any of this remotely interesting, and I'm being very very flippant about that, including the Kanye situation. But seriously, what is the interesting part here? I guess more relevatory, more likely that these people really oh, are who we say? think. Relevatory. That's are not you, the wait, word. What? Well, how do you mean? Relevatory. Yeah. How do you mean is not the word? What's the root of relevate? No, uh, that's Idiot. that's a good question. It's a revelatory, you friggin' moron. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doubling down this twice, man. You're better than Wait, this what did guy. I say? You said what did relevatory, I say? and I'm like, relevate ain't a word, son. It's revelatory, but either way, continue, <laughs> friggin' moron. And then fighting me on it too. <laughs> you got like, you me with what's the root? Are you getting sleep these days? Like, you, got, you got me with what's the root? You come in like a like a spelling bee champ. Bro. <laughs> I am Indian after all. <laughs> I'm you sorry again. I cut you off. <laughs> is it is it revel no? But is it rev is it revelatory? I mean, this man has been doing the same thing for like for you decades. Know, it's like it's like what nuclear and and nuclear I, mm. and wow yeah <laughs> wow who knew who knew um, <laughs> but yes going back to your statement is it actually revelatory you know this man he's been he's been who's been forever what does this do to change whether magnify or otherwise anything that has come anything that we've known in the past 30 years of him owning the cowboys what does he change no no what does this picture change uh, what is what is revelatory about this picture beyond only 
either further cementing your current belief or on either side, actually, or, or, or defending him and, you know, and, and again, cementing your current belief. There's no value in this whole thing. So I don't understand it. And it's getting a lot of news. And I'm very, very perplexed, not perplexed, uh, confused. Because even, even, even LeBron had a thing about it too, right? Saying that nobody asked him about Jerry Jones, but asked him about Kyrie. Which again, he could have just given an opinion if he wanted to, whether the question came or not. I mean, I don't know why he needed the question to be asked. No, but it's, it's a good... It's a good um... But again, he knows but who no, no, he but, is. But check this. Check this. No, no, no. It's a great question. Because where is... Think about Kyrie. Stephen A. Smith railed on him for weeks yeah right about something with a picture like this an image in that epitomizes the racial history of the um jim crow era pre-civil rights post slavery this picture is the epitome of it of the south mm -hmm. um stephen a smith goes on a huge defense of this man and, and again with Kyrie, amazon comes out and you've been saying this amazon comes out you say that this week and says they'll continue showing the film obviously Right, where, where's all the where's all the, the energy that was given towards Kyrie? Where's the six steps Amazon has to do? Where's the, um, you know, various people within Jewish community going after Amazon vociferously? Where are people going after Amazon like the way they did Kyrie for something? Right, and here's the difference. Kyrie wasn't in the film. Jerry Jones is actually in this. Yeah. Right? He's right. actually in the photo. Two things. With the Amazon versus Kyrie situation, right? If Amazon is the distributor of said, of said show, right? Now, Amazon can't pull it down. But there is a difference because one is, if Amazon was blatantly advertised when you go for like, hey, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, thanks, uh, Black Friday deals, this movie is free now or whatever else. Now, that's, that's advertising. That was what Kyrie was doing to some level. That would be comparable. Now again, Amazon can take the high road and take take this film off, but 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 the problem with them doing so is they now would have to censor all the films on their on their network to see what they would need to pull on and pull off because it's defensive to A, B, or C. So they can't go down that path. So Amazon literally can't do anything here because it only it just opens things up for other people, right? Like you can't go to the library and be like, okay, that book is gone, that book is gone, that book. Like you can't once you go down that path, you're screwed. Yes, I fully agree. But, but that's not the logic not, people but use. That's, that's, but that's not what's preventing people from knocking Amazon. You think you think people having your logic, which I agree with, are actually sitting there going, yeah, Amazon can't do this, so I have no problem. No, that's that's crap. People agree. aren't like that. No, I agree. It's, it's but, way more nuanced. People aren't like that. But I'm with you. But I like, like yeah. I like I, I agree say, with what you're saying. Yeah. But I, I vehemently think that that's not what the masses that went after Kyrie are feeling internally. No, again, the masses need... People want to fight. People want to be angry at something. Apparently, from what I'm understanding in the past, in my but, lifetime, but not Amazon. Just, no, no, they want to be angry at people. Ah, no, they they go after companies too. Generally speaking, they go after people because there is a person you can associate your disdain to, right? Generally speaking, right? There are a couple companies you go after, right? But also, Okay, so I take a pseudo stance when it comes to publics, right? And a pseudo stance when it comes to certain companies that I don't, that I generally don't support the politics, right? Chick fil A, et cetera, et cetera, right? And that stance is I, I will do my damnedest to not shop there. And if I have to, then so be it. But 99% of the time, I will avoid it. That's all. Not that big a deal. Not, not changing anything, by the way. Everything is still the same in the world, and all this stuff happens. The point is, generally speaking, people don't go after companies, you go after an individual. The assumption being the individual can make change as an individual. They can change their actions. They can change whatever else, et cetera. Um, and if they have power in the company, they can then affect change downward as well. Or, if you, that can tear down, or you can tear down an individual. Correct. Further. I'm with you. The, the problem with the individual attacks or individual, you have um, individuals are fragile, right? You can literally break a person, which is no value to anybody, right? Or you can help a person. Now, the path that has been chosen for the better part of the past decade has been break people, right? Now, there are a lot of crap people out there, don't get me wrong. And there is a, but, but I think there's actually just more people out there now that we are seeing as their true selfish selves, right? They've always been selfish. And I've always said people are innately selfish, myself included, but people are out there just, 
showing you that, hey, I am this person who is just bad, for lack of a better word, right? Like, right. And then the people just want to jump on and pile on and pile on and pile on and go after Kyrie and go after, probably go after Stephen A now and go after whatever, right? But they're not going after the Nets or not going after, like, like it's rare that people go after the institution in a certain situation, but they love going after people. And love going after people on the socials, which is also why I don't buy a lot into the socials because the mob always wants something else to fight about. And then they forget so quickly, which is why I'm saying Kanye's next album, if those sales drop, then I will believe, or then I will, then I'll, then I'll, I'll agree with you. Until that point, I think Kanye has done nothing to hurt his brand. Zero. Um, I mean, if he goes into a place right now, I guarantee there's gonna be a bunch of people want to take pictures with him. If he strolls around Midtown, if he's walking around right now, I guarantee there's gonna be a whole bunch of people want to take pictures with him. Of course. Okay, so I'm saying, and I would be like, "What are you crazy?" Right, but that's my I mean, perception, he, right? I mean, he, he hurt his brand by about seven hundred million dollars. No, 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 but no, no, he hurt. I mean, but, that is his but brand, also, right. but also, he want like he egged that on. Like, I, of course, I'm, I'm remember, of the belief said, that he wanted that to happen. I said on a yeah. few episodes ago that was my theory that he wanted yeah, it he to happen. It. Doesn't mean he didn't hurt it. But again, no, but it didn't. You're 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 assuming his you're 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 quantifying dollars to brand, and I'm saying his brand, Kanye. Right, the, the easy part if he comes out easy with somebody else, but, but it will no, buy immediately. You, let me ask you this whether it's one or one million, after all this, do you think more people want any Kanye products or less people? Again, I whether think, it's one I or think, one million, I think it is there, it, I think, it's I think a net loss, us, whether it's significant it or not. It's a net loss. I think if you do it today, then okay, you, you will have your point. I think if you, I think if he releases the new Yeezy with God knows whom in like like this time, not even this time next year, like next summer, none, none the watch. The shoes are going to sell out and it's going to be the same yeah, popular. But, but here's why they're not. Because what brand would be big enough? Nike's not doing it. He's already with Nike, right? Adidas was the big major. What major brand? He's trying to go with Skechers, bro. Yeah, but hold like on. That's the thing. So it, many brands out there who, see, but there's so many brands the, out there who figure this out. Like literally, these brands, we have said it ad nauseum. None of this stuff is like people are. Um, they're not. Now these brands aren't moral. These brands are doing things that affect right. their bottom line, right? So you've got a truckload of brands out there who are who want to come up, who are new, right? Who would jump on this, right? Like, like you said, new, but so it won't have the same impact. Just financially, it just you know, won't. it'll be him. Oh no, financial impact to him. To him or just no, I'm saying sales units. numbers. I'm saying moving units. If if there's a company out there who has the who has the money to produce the product, I would say that the product would sell in, in droves. Because it'd be the new Yeezys from the new brand and whatever else. And I suspect that they would sell it. Now we may never know, but if it does come to pass, I suspect that there'll be zero negligible, not zero, negligible drop off. Personally. And I'm not saying my dollar, because maybe it says for a different price point, but I'm saying the, the popularity of the product would be negligibly impacted. Personally. So, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. You really don't dye your hair? No. Why? I, you not see the grays <laughs> in my beard and my head? No, I'm looking, I'm watching. I'm seeing <laughs> you're like Santa Claus in the beard. I know. And a young Tom Cruise yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Doug, look, I luckily I don't have to. Right? Hmm. Luckily the locks is flowing. I'm not gonna lie. So hmm. now I'm debating cutting it off again because the hair is getting kind of unruly. It's a lot of effort nowadays. So I'm debating just shaving it all off again. But luckily for me, it grows back. Although I will say I just started taking creatine. And I've been reading up on this, but just I mean two days. Um and reading up on the creatine. There's a plausible hair loss dynamic associated with it. So I'm a little, I'm like, oh, really? I don't want to be dabbling <laughs> with this so much. Now it affects like, you know, one in whatever millions or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, do I want to be messing with this at this age? Like in my 20s is one thing. Wow. But we dabbling in, in a possibility in my 40, in the, in the mid 40s, you know, that's a whole thing too. Oh yeah, by the time you guys hear this, next time we record, Dominic will be old AF. Uh, right. No, I won't. I'll still be him. Bro, you haven't been young in the past 20 years. We just, yeah. how many surgeries have you been through since we're doing this podcast? And this podcast isn't that long. <laughs> yeah, this guy, young, he says. This guy can barely get out of bed, constantly injured, right? And this guy claims to be young. Come on, son.
You can even drive a long distance. You've got every ailment people haven't even heard about you brought to people's attention. Fake news. <laughs> what? Okay. Speaking of not young, police okay. in Valley, Alabama, a town I never heard of, arrested an 82-year-old woman for failure to pay tra her trash service. You hear about that? It was, it's different though. Wasn't she? No, no. She was, so she was, so she like was she, it had been suspended in the past for failure to pay. Um, and I think she owed $72. Damn. And she was, they tried to call her, couldn't get through. They tried to visit her at her home I, by they, whatever authority mm -hmm. tries, couldn't get through, couldn't find her. So they left a, a door tag, like a hanger on a door. Mm hmm. Um, and served her with a court date to, to appear to, to settle this. Mm -hmm. She didn't appear. So they issued a warrant for arrest and arra arrested an 82-year-old woman. First of all, before we even get to that foolishness, the fact that you have to go to court for 70-something dollars? They're, those guys are literally going by the letter of the law situation. So yeah, I'm you have to you. go the to cost, court? Well, hold up. The cost of just the entire process to get $74 Okay. It's way above the $74. Let's say this person wasn't 80. First of all, anyone in their 80s just doing that could be very difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Have not having means of transportation. It could be uncomfortable. Just but let's say they have a job. Like you have to go to court for 70 something dollars. But that's okay. The, it, the food. I remember this happened in Jamaica one time where a friend his Jeep was outside of Ville. He got a parking ticket. Yeah. Oh, I remember was, this. I remember this. Right. Yeah. And the man is writing the ticket and shows him you have to go to court. And he's like, I have to go to court? It was it was like a cheap, let's say, I don't know. Let's say the ticket was like 20 US. He's like, I have to go to court for this? He goes, I remember can that. I just give you more than that to not write the ticket? Like that's called a bribe. <laughs> not do that. <laughs> no, but that's all but that was also Jamaica circa 1990 something, right? Where you had to go to Yeah, court. but there's also a technical, there was some technology dynamics there in Jamaica too, because you couldn't just put money in the mail or a check in the mail oh, and have it Valley, get to Alabama. Your... You would hope. No, no, I'm no, no, I'm saying the Jamaica dynamic. You couldn't really put money in the mail. The only way they could do everything was through the courthouse, which is a really big burden on the courthouse. But I will say for Valley, Alabama, uh, they provide tea. I will say for Valley, Alabama, um, there's no, there's no, there's got to be, there should be just like a threshold, right? It can't be like any dollar amount, right? Because at some, not at some yeah, point, five hundred four dollars. Yeah, because the cost of you dollars. trying to chase down this money. The problem is if with the threshold that nobody's going to pay up until that amount. So I get why they can't, but there's got to be some kind of like, you know, if you work in the system, be like, look, guys, we're not going to chase this down because there's no value. But even when I used to be an auditor, you just you don't audit every a transaction because there's no value. And yes, I used to be an auditor. All right. What else you got? Oh, side note. Uh, did you see this thing? There was a I just po I, I, it popped up on my I, on my on my uh, on my Twitter feed this morning. A Texas attorney fired three shots at his ex-girlfriend inside an Austin bar before customers subdued him. He was released two days later on $40,000 bond set by the municipal judge. This is the second charge of domestic violence in five years. You're trying to tell me that if a mitt goes into a bar and shoots at somebody three times, I'm going to be able to walk out? How is that even possible? And also, second offense? And you're an attorney, so you know the law? Like, how is this remotely possible you can pay 40 Gs and get out? I don't understand that. I cannot. I'm trying to grasp. Like, I, you see, you're bothered by that. I'm more bothered by the principle that he can pay 40 Gs. What if I don't have 40? So I yeah, can't get out? The bond. I, no, no, no. What I'm saying is I know I, know, I, know. I can shoot somebody, but I don't have the money, so I'm stuck. You can shoot somebody, but have the money, so you shoot get out. at somebody, not shoot somebody. Shoot, shoot at, at somebody. Yes, because you and shot somebody, a whole different situation. Right, but had but the fact that he didn't hit this person, but second time, right? And then on the flip side, so I I I I I I, uh, I hold that up against your boy Antonio Brown, who's got who's got domestic violence or uh, battery charges, I believe. I, I could be using term incorrectly. What what the try? I wrote he it always down has here. issues with this woman. Yeah, but he's got what are the issues? He's got damn it, I wrote it down yesterday. He threw a shoe. Oh, he's got, yeah, he's got battery charges, domestic battery charges for throwing a shoe at his baby mama's head which I find hilarious. Not the act of committing battery in anybody. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Yeah, that, clarify that. Jack. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the fact that, no, no, the fact that there's this level, but oh, my point is this man is, uh, AB is going to pay probably around the same amount of money, if not more, for throwing a shoe. And other dude shot 
three times at his girl for the second time and is, is out on 40K, right? And I'm, it's not a black white thing. I'm just saying I'm looking at the, 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 the difference between state laws is what I'm going with here. Texas being a little more, you know, free well, these, with uh, the gun situation. These would be county laws, city laws. These aren't fe- no, I didn't say I said state, but I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there'd be okay, state man, laws. we can go all the way down to municipalities if you want, guy. I'm yeah. just saying generally <laughs> it ain't a federal situation, son. Yeah. Damn, man. All right. What else? You can- Hold up, by the way. You see the trailer for Cocaine Bear? First of all, before we get there, on the comments on Facebook, <laughs> you're talking about battery. This man said, Do yourself battery. <laughs> <laughs> and then the man said, Left shoe or right shoe. Brethren. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, this you, Doug. Yeah, we are live on Facebook. Right? <laughs> uh, yes, Cocaine Bear might be the. It, it's a based on a true story. Like, yeah. I was explaining to my daughter when you, when you have those based on a true story. It might as well not even say that because sometimes it's such a stretch that it's ridiculous. There but was I'm a bear too- that ate cocaine and OD'd and died. That okay, part did happened. it go? Did it go no, on it, a murderous? There was some kind of it, it went on a rampage of sorts. I, it didn't do what's happening in the movie, <laughs> but bear eating. The trailer cocaine. made it look like the trailer made it look like it then kept seeking more cocaine. <laughs> yeah, he was just chilling. Yeah, which, going which, around, no, no, like other places finding yeah. coke and taking more coke. Man. First of all, this movie is it's Universal Pictures, so it's got to say it's not like some little cheese tricks thing. They have a budget. The talent in the movie is uh, like it's significant, including director. Like there, there's money behind this film, and this movie is going to make money. Just for people to laugh at the whole thing, this movie is going to make money, and I think it's an amazing. Because the first time I saw it, I didn't know it was a major studio, and I thought it was like some cheese tricks horror film, kind of like the Winnie the Pooh one. Did you see that one? Poo and poo and no, uh, I forgot about that. Piglet. How was it? I, how was that? I didn't see it, but I'm saying that was like a that was a that was a, a a relatively low rent horror film. But this one looks just ridiculously insane in all the right ways. Like it's like a Harold and Kumar kind of game. Like it's that kind of ridiculousness, which is why I think it'll make a whole bunch of money. Personally, what else you got, son? Um, I have. Yeah, it's flipping pages. It's you ever see um Greg Gumble or Brian Gumble on that C, uh Which HBO one? show? Yeah, where yeah, yeah. the sport where he's always taking notes when but not doing anything. It's weird. Nice again. Um Columbus County, North Carolina. Sheriff Jody Green was being investigated uh oh for residency issues. Meaning, you know, I guess perhaps he didn't live in the county. Oh, sheriff? Sheriff? sheriff did it? Yeah. And he went on a rant saying, you know, against black people and thinking that there were there are two black officers that they were involved. And he said some pretty wild stuff. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what he said. Well, I'm, I'm glad you tomorrow prepared. it stops. Tomorrow is a new effing day. I'm still the mother effing sheriff, and I'll Go up and fire every goddamn N word. F them black bastards. They think I'm scared. They're stupid. Um, we'll cut the snake's effing head off. Period. Melvin Campbell, he's one of the the black officers, is a big ass snake as Lewis Hatcher. He's also one. Every black that I know, you need to fire them. Fire him to start with. He's a snake. And he went on stuff like that. This came out before the election. You know, you gotta vote for <laughs> the motherfucker still won. The Obviously. man still won. Still won. Came out and said it's a political attack. <laughs> I mean, it's his voice on record. He couldn't deny it what he said. The man still said so he fought after winning, he wound up resigning for the love of the county. Why would you? And- I honestly I don't know why he resigned. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know why he'd resign. It's like what's her face? Uh Marjorie Taylor Green. She won handily, and this woman's an idiot. Like a bona fide idiot, not even like subtly, like a legit bona fide. I feel I, like mentally unstable idiot, and she won handedly. Yeah. Right. So what that means is there are significantly other large numbers of bona fide idiots 
who buying some of this stuff. And yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Sana, you've been watching, you, you've been watching uh, Copa Mundial. Uh, it's on right now. Who's playing right now? Oh, I'm on Monday this time. Now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, you're watching, Dumbass. anybody watching live saw my face, not knowing what to do. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, I did watch on Friday. And when I watched on Friday, it's Uruguay 2, Ghana 0 with 40 minutes and 49 seconds. Yeah. It's not in the first half. That was, that was Friday. That was it's this idiot. 40 minutes and 55 seconds. So you're watching tomorrow morning at 10 a.m.? Are yes. you rooting for America? I am. I never usually do. I ex- uh, The problem is, crap, they play Holland. Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands was one of my squads as a kid. Because? Because you knew some people from Aruba? Or because you no, like the orange freedom. jerseys? Freedom. Yeah. Or because you like the orange jersey? I like No, I like players like Edgar Davids, Clarence Seardall. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I think I still will rule America. Historically, I've always hated in Where you're football, from. America. Yes. <laughs> America <laughs> and Mexico. Mexico even more. How can you um, hate America and Mexico? Like they're rivals. Like you should hate yeah, one or the yeah, other. Yeah, no, I hate them both. And, and there's a there's a documentary I think on Amazon or something about them. Netflix. But America, yeah, 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 I think it is. It's it's a Levy documentary, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, yeah. and it's on Amazon. So yeah, um, Amazon, but yeah. I think I will be cheering for America tomorrow. All right. I'm yeah. trying to figure out my fitness schedule so I can go and uh, so I can fitness and watch. Thankfully, I've got a uh, travel basketball after that. So it'll be good. And thankfully you don't fitness. So all of these things are fine. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. How many LBs are you down? Uh, five. From an all-time high? No, no, no. 15 from an all-time high. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's not get it ridiculous here. You see your boy Alex Jones file for bankruptcy, by the way? No, good for him. I mean, but you know it's going to happen. He's not giving people any money. No. One point whatever billion dollars. None of this money oh, is going to How much is that? I mean, the, the, the brother is insane. The, yeah, the, the, $1.5 billion. Yeah, good. No, but he's safe off of bankruptcy in Texas. Who's safe? Because he's based have, in um, Texas. Do you have homestead protection in Texas for your house? I, I do know. So here's my, okay. I'm, I already I, do. I'm that's not OJ, overly, You know, that's why OJ moved here, right? Here in Florida, yes. Yeah, he moved to Kendall yeah. down the road. From, yeah. yeah. No, no, but what what also happens in Texas too? It's like so I'm I'm generally ignorant on the overall Texas laws, obviously, but I know that J and J and a bunch of their major corporations moved offices to Texas, created entity in Texas to write off to 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 file for bankruptcy under those entities, and this way avoid playing a lot of uh, penalties that they had incurred in various lawsuits. Well, so J&J Alex Jones also changed based there. the entity yeah. itself. Yeah, no, valid, but they opened it there in Texas to do the whole nine. My point being, Alex Jones being based in Texas, obviously benefits from a lot of this stuff overall is my expectation so my point is ain't nobody getting any money that's all right so it's just he, he uh this was sadly always expected but yeah ain't nobody getting any money are you watching world cup um i watched a portion of the u.s game the last u.s game uh which was uh u.s iran iraq sorry um hold no, on that would be it iran. Was iran right yeah. My bad. Okay, then I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but I but I saw it literally. I got back to my hotel room like minutes before the goal, and oh. and turn the TV on, go into the bathroom, wash my hands, and I hear the goal, and I come out, and I didn't see the goal. I just see homie on the floor, and then uh, I had to find it? the replay later on. What's up? You didn't rewind, rewind it? it. I'm in a hotel, son. Oh my bad. Said, did you say? Did guy. you say that? Yes. That's no, no, I'm not sure it. you said that. I got back to my hotel. I guess you said Turn that. Turn it on. <laughs> oh, this guy, bro. You're going to correct me. Listen, son. Uh, yeah. So that's literally what, what's wild the is most game and a half that I've seen. Christian Pulisic grew up in the tiny little town where my nephews did in Pennsylvania. But he scored which one of the most memorable goals in U.S. football history. And he couldn't even celebrate. Dude was on down for 10 minutes. I, I mean, and it came up on other podcasts and stuff like that I've listened to. But the fact that you hurt your crotch to the point you got to go to the hospital, that's an aggressive crotch hit, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I I mean, I've, I've, I've had some, some unfortunate run-ins in my life, but never hospital-worthy. Did he get – so was it, was, it the, was it his gonads? I mean, if you got to go to the hospital, son, I don't know. I mean, nobody's mm-hmm. saying specifically what it was. They said, like, that area, right, which is really comedic. But, yeah, they say that area. But you're in the hospital, dude. That's aggressive. 
and luckily never been in that situation. So I didn't even know that was the case. Yeah, I feel bad. And by the way, now you're so so yeah, everything we said about Qatar, like obviously nobody's sweating it, man. You know, the viewers. You saw Qatar, some Qatari leader came out and said it was four to five hundred people died. Yeah. Four to five hundred. But they had never acknowledged anything before. But why? I, there's no point. Again, it doesn't matter. There's no reason to say anything. Yeah. Right? Because it's not affecting anybody's view and not affecting the viewership, not affecting any of this stuff. It's just there. You know? I've never even been to World Cup. I don't think I'd actually go, but yeah, it's there. It just seems to be yeah. very crowded, an event. You, you, made it, you made it seem like that's a common occurrence. I've never right. been to a World Cup. No, like, no, no. You, I'm know anybody, you know many I people actually, have? Yeah. Artie? You know many people have? Artie? Navin? Many? I got two. Two. Uh, <laughs> no, well, one of my boys, but he's actually, he's, he's a Budweiser head of marketing. It's a different story. So that's three. I'm out now. Oh, four. Brazil. I know people went to the Brazil one. That's what it came okay. down to. No people from Jamaica went to that one. Yeah. Yeah, see? Did you see, oh, speaking of, did you see after Brazil's first win, all the, the parading in the streets of Jamaica? No, the I did not. Brazil flags, like cars, people, like. <sighs> How did Brazil become Jamaica's team? I don't know. It, it it always has been. Be- yeah, wild. because even when I was a kid, that's yes. what we root for. When there's that's no Jamaica, it's like, all right, yeah. Brazil. There was literally people parading in the streets celebrating. Like, my dad was an Argentina guy, but Brazil was what it was. And he was an Argentina guy only because of Maradona. Um, and then as I grew up and I realized all the things Maradona had done, I was like, good Lord. How was this guy even able to play? But, yeah, he was aggressive. So, side note, this weekend is Art Basel. Last weekend was Art Basel. God damn it, man. Last weekend was Art Basel. Ended, ye- ended yesterday. How did yes. you... Uh, yeah. You, I, did, what did, did I do? you do anything? <laughs> you <were telling> me, <laughs> what did you do? Wait, what did you plan to do? Zero is a simple answer to your question. Really? Bro, it's... Man, you know I'm not about these the, the crowds, bro. So uh, we have a friend of ours, Sasha. So she calls me a couple days ago. She goes, yo, I got tickets to some event tonight. Tonight meaning Friday. When last yes. week. Okay. And and I and I look at the I look at the the map and I was like, oh, this is like a legit event, and it's somewhere near Brickle. She's like, yeah, it's a Basel event, and I was like, that's cute. I was like, lady, there ain't no way I'm going on to Brickle and doing no kind of traffic to go to go look at art for twi- one day in my life. I'm good, man. Well, I so, don't need this in my life. And an you easy just, one old man. for you. An easy one for you is uh, if you want to do anything, is link link Dan. Like, no, he go. hit me up. He hit me up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's stuff. nearby. Yeah, hit me up. That's different. That's stuff I can walk to, yeah. not stress, and leave in a second, have a couple of cocktails at some other place. Yeah. yeah, I'm just not about the uh it's not about the linea, not getting in a car. There's an event like at So House tonight, too. So my boy was like, Yeah, I mean, uh, on Saturday. And my boy was like, Yo, you should come with. Let's go. Cause he, he goes, You can get three people, I can get three people. And I was like, but I don't want to go. And he, got, <laughs> and he was and he goes, Yeah, but I need you because you get three people when I only have three. And I was like, Oh, but I don't he, need, he go. needed to bring more people. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> so I'm getting invited because he needs to bring more people. Which is fine. <laughs> um, but also, also, I didn't know there was an event going on, but I was like, bro, you expect me to wait, wait. go to the how, beach. How, do you know the same person that you could get the extra three? Like, why can he have somebody else bring three people? Uh, no, you I don't know. I mean, how are you, you mem- going to be the person to bring Because I have a membership. He's got a membership. We bring three, three. Oh, you have a membership? Yeah. Work. I told you, never Ooh, meet. No, 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 no. Uh, what'd I say? What'd I beep, say? Beep, beep, What'd I beep, say? Ba- hold on. We need a whole episode for <laughs> what'd this. What'd I say? Work, oh, son. God. All right. What'd I say? I so said, if work pays for it's one thing, amidst not, amidst not about that life generally, so I wouldn't pay for myself. So how often do you go? I just, I never. Actually, uh, yeah, never. They subsidize it fully or partially? You can't subsidize fully. That's just called paying for it or reimbursing. Subsidized means I'm paying a portion oh, of. God. What is wrong with you in English today, dog? Come on, man. You're better so what than are this, they son. Doing? What are, you know what I mean. What are they doing? Yes. No. It, 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 I'm not getting into specifics of work situation, but yes, it's there. It's it's a work it's it's a work related situation, well, and you know, uh, you so I have I have oh, so Ross. I have a dogs. I have a uh, hold up. This guy puts his phone on his mic on mute all the time. And then when he wants to yell dogs, he wasn't yelling at all, but by the way, then he turns off mute to yell into the mic and then, by the way, goes on mute after that. Just ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, so, wife wanted to go to go there Tuesday, actually. I'm flying out to LA Tuesday, otherwise I'd help you out. Past Tuesday. Oh. She's like, this will go. I was like, I have work. Let's I was go. in New York. But had I been here, if you want to go, 
I mean, I got to go with, but, and then I can, you know, oh yeah. No, we, yeah, we, we got a plug. Okay. Yeah. I'm not that's a fan. It. Like, what do you guys go and do? Like, why would you drive an hour to go there? I don't understand why you would do this. Well, I, here's the irony. And I said, I'm not doing it this time. I sat in the lobby for two hours working, maybe an hour and a half. So well, you she drove chilled. an hour to go sit in the lobby. I know, and work I know. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, so we left, got there at say, I don't know. Let's say we got there at nine 30. Right. I sat there till like 11, 11 30 doing work, but she was chilling at the pool and then went down to the beach, hung out for a while, came back, just a different energy, different vibes. And you're so like, she, there's not a hotel. Today, on Tuesday, I said, I, I have too much today. I can't be in the car for two hours to then go work, you know, or there, but there's, but there's, there's no hotel near where you live that also has a beach that you could benefit from without having to drive two hours minimum. This is where you answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, out of the logic, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm literally confused. There's an event. I kind of get it. But if you're just going to hang out and work in the lobby and go to the beach. I didn't intend bro, to work. You live it, in I Florida, son. Uh, here's the thing. I didn't intend to work. This is why I didn't go Even this past week. Even if you didn't intend to work. No, no, you want to go knew, hang out by the would... beach and get some cocktails, why would you drive an hour to do that where you live in a place where there are hotels abound between where you live and Soho? You can't just get into hotels randomly, use the beach. It's just it was just a different thing. It was an experience, you know? Go hang out afterwards, leave, go have early dinner. Just spend some quality time with your better half. Except that you weren't with her. That's why she was yeah, I mean, I, that wasn't the plan, which is why I didn't go <laughs> this week. All right. All right. Well, yeah, next time you all want to go, let me know. I'll, I'll I'll come say hello for a little right. bit. Wait, does does Gopes know this? No, I don't think he may find this out on Monday when he's flying back to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I got to tell him. I got to tell him. He doesn't listen to the podcast. How did you not tell podcast, us this? You know? When did this happen? Uh, like a month ago, I think. Wow. You know? Because I'm in LA next week, so I've got a, I've got a few things there for sure. Um, I'm in New York the week after. Got oh, you, got the, you got the big boy membership. I have the key brand. I'm on the road, son. Multi house. I'm on the road, Multi son. You know what I'm Multi house? Right? Multi pass. Multi pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is All that... right. Lastly, um, you you put this in the notes. Hold up, pause real quick. Elon Musk just conf- did you see this? Elon Musk confirms that Kanye West Twitter account suspended after posting swastika. Okay, I, I know I was gonna mention I ch- tried to find Kanye's account this morning. I saw I was suspended. I had no idea why. And that apparently why? posted a swastika. Now, but I thought of, I thought this goes against everything Musk. This is my point, son. Free speech get, until there is no free speech. Yeah, I don't get it. Sorry, I digress. I'm just calling out hypocrisies. Continue. You were saying. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the senators that voted against the same sex, sex. marriage bill for lack of it a was just it was a freedom of marriage bill, freedom not of just marriage same bill. sex. It yes. was also interracial, etc. Yes, including your boy Ted Cruz yeah. voted against that. Mm-hmm. Evidently, even the Church of, you know, that long one in Utah, the Church of of Latter Day Saints, of the, Jesus, the, the, yeah, Jesus Christ, the Jesus Church of Jesus Christ and Latter Day Saints, yeah. Yeah. Evidently, they were even, I read, in support of it, even though they're vastly or vehemently against gay marriage, just because they wanted to promote the concept of religious freedom, where people could do what they wanted to do. So that's interesting, where, some, where a group went against their internal beliefs to, prom- to protect the concept of freedom. You don't see that much. Interesting. I told you because they, the they selfish, so I guess I, I read that they all. didn't want anything preventing them for doing th- whatever they feel is their beliefs. It's always that. It's always co- yeah. it always comes down to self preservation, son. Yeah, but still to go against something you're okay. very, you know, goes against I mean, everything you believe in. You could also do the Mitch McConnell and vote against it, even though you have your interracial marriage, or you could go right. I mean, you could do that if you. No, want. no, he had a, a gay marriage in his family. It was it wasn't interracial. No, was... Mitch McConnell's in an interracial marriage. Oh, he is. Yes, the gay marriage was Ch- Dick Cheney. Yeah, okay. Which Who, is his who's... daughter is gay. What's Mitch McConnell's wife? Uh, I believe she's Asian. I probably mm-hmm. should Google that before I said anything. Mitch McConnell's wife. 
Trisha Takanawa. Wow, you racist ass. <laughs> Her name is Elaine Cho. Chow. So I was correct in the fact that she is Asian. What, She's from what Taiwan. A good, what a good reference by me. <laughs> You're a friggin' racist <laughs> bastard. That was pretty funny, though. Um, yeah, so that's that. Yeah, and uh, um, a minute to buy a new Segway, too, dog, because the Segway life is getting dangerous. I mean, the scooter life is getting dangerous. The scooter that I had, remember, I, I, uh, they, like, yeah, I've, the, yeah. the handlebar kept turning to one direction as I was going straight. So it got a little dangerous when the light's facing one way, but it's going the other. I was scared from unless I had to buy a new scooter. So now we got to <laughs> figure this one out. And so I can be surviving through all this. Um, now, look at that. Jamaica Gleaner last week reported that the crime historically and presently drops quite significantly during World Cup. I imagine people are happier and also tied up. It's true. It's true. Anyway, that's you all better, I got, you dude. Better justice over order. Don't have red dye in your foods. Red what? dye 40. It's bad. Where'd that come from? Yeah. What has red dye 40? If you're going to throw uh, that out there. Everything, every, pretty much everything is red. Red Gatorade. I don't like red Gatorade. Hold up, lemon lime is fine? Oh, uh, yeah, they don't have that. It's red. Red dye is the band in Europe. Look how much stuff red have red dye in it. How much stuff red, red are we consuming? What else is red that I'm consuming? Gums, candies. It's also in a lot of desserts. You don't even realize the red is, is in gums there. Gums plural? Foods. Can you pluralize gums or is it just gum? Yeah, if you have strawberry gum, if you have bubblicious and you have a chewing gum from Wrigley's, that's gums. No, I don't think so. I think gums <laughs> in your mouth, son. I think gum is gum. Wow, you're in a roll today. You're just horrible grammar, dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm Googling this. Google it now. Let's see. Google it now and we'll wrap up. Because I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say gums ain't a word unless you're talking about the gums in your mouth. Like my gums are hurting. Not I'm not chewing on multiple on, on, on multiple stick of gums. I'm chewing multiple sticks of gum. Come on, bro. You're better than this, dog. Mm. You, you have a higher, you have a level of higher education. You got to cheat. You got to teach the youths of today. Yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm off today. Wow, you're off, man. This guy. All right, the, the old, the, the senility is kicking in early. Um, on that note, take it easy, everybody. We will be chat better, soon. eat better, justice over order. Hydrate. And hope you enjoyed the Art Basel weekend. Yes. Right, cool.